But lads, um, Damien, the charge against Brendan Rodgers was that he couldn't or wouldn't send a team away to a, a tough Champions League uh, assignment and dig in and get a pressure, get a, a hard-fought point. Is that precisely what his team did this evening? Yes, you'd have to give him credit for that. You know, we were scathing of him in Dortmund for the way he set up. Um, and, and he talked pre-match about, you know, I'll never set up in a low defensive block. Um, but there's a happy medium between what he did against Dortmund in going gung-ho, pressing high up the pitch, and setting him on a low block. And that uh, happy medium was what we got tonight. It was a mid-block. Yes, they had to give up the wide areas. Yes, they suffered an unholy amount of crosses. 45 crosses in one game of football. Um, there'll be someone find a stat later. It's got to be up there, <laughs> um, be up there. in terms of records. Um, but listen, they gave that up. Credit to Scales and Trusty. I thought Scales was superb tonight. Um, really, really good. They defended those crosses. They rolled their luck, passing it to the number of chances. So, yes, there's an element of fortune. But I think second half, they, they, they got some semblance of control mm. of the ball and limited uh, uh, Atalanta. So, credit to Brendan Rodgers. I thought it was brilliant tonight. Great setup, and it just shows they can do it. And, and Richard, if you look at the, the chances they created, it was a follow on um, from, from what happened second half. Damien talked about it. Look, just, just try and survive the crosses. Hope that you can defend them. Hope that you know that that your keeper pulls off saves. And, and as Damien said, defenders like like Scales and Trusty did so well as well as when those crosses were coming in and the Atalanta chances came that second half. Yeah, and um, Atalanta ran out of ideas in the end. And I think um, they probably would have set up at the start Celtic and recognised Retegui and what his talents are and probably winning headers in the boxes and that. But um, the performance second half was 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 better than the first half and the performance overall was great and the scales getting in and making the blocks and of course when you're playing a team of Atalanta's quality you're going to concede chances that you're going to have to like you say Roger look at times but they done it well and they restricted them to, to a certain type of chance and it was this all the time so Celtic knew what positions to be in the two centre backs where to defend it and um, yeah, they done, they done well, they kept a clean sheet. As a defender, as the night goes on, do you start to feel more comfortable with this approach? You start to think, right, I know where the ball's going here. I'm, I'm you start to be like able to read result. things better because you, you know the quality of the cross that's coming in, where the player likes to put it. You, they, they started to minimise, I suppose, the deep runs from Pasolic and um, Jim City who were making runs into the box and they organised themselves better. And you look at <coughs> Atalanta and they didn't have the capabilities to change, to do something different. Mm. And they played into Celtic's hands in the second half. And it's fair play to Brendan Rodgers, fair play to the players. It's a, it's a huge point for them because we expect them to pick up points at home and Aten on the road is a bonus. But to get one away at Atalanta is a fantastic. It is a bonus and it ends one of those one of those horrible uh, away stats that you associate with Celtic. That Seven times they've gone to Italy in the Champions League and seven times they've lost. Uh, well, that run ended this evening. Uh, gutsy away performance from Celtic. Lessons. Uh, learn from that uh, trip to Dortmund, as the lads uh, said.